Welcome back to the NASCAR 15 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 2236. I'm here at Watkins Glen International, here in Watkins Glen, New York, for the running at the Cheez It 355. And I uh, got five races left before the chase. Obviously, I'm already locked in with my three wins. However, I have a, I'm on a 10 race winless streak right now. I never really go that high on the winless streak. So, in any NASCAR Let's Play. So, uh,. This should be, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another win in this race, but the next race after Watkins Glen is Michigan, and, you know, we'll see. Got some good tracks coming up, though. I mean, got Michigan coming up. Bristol is, uh, yeah, it's one of those tracks, too. Um, Darlington, I won there in Season 1, and then Richmond got up there, which not looking forward to either. But, uh, anyway... So, but let's see what happens here. This is the second road course race of the season. 100% difficulty, two rounds of qualifying, 27 laps, tire wear and few use times one, cautions and black flags on, and damage on full. So, except these changes, going to be driving my Sunoco scheme for this race. So, let's see why I qualify for this race. Uh, season one did not, uh, when I did this race in season one, it did not go well. Let's see what happens this time. So, here we go. Round one of qualifying begins here at Watkins Glen. Low lay on the brakes, Joseph. Indeed, so. Alright, let's see what lap time I'm going to get here on the first lap. 108.57. Ugh. See if I can get a better lap time here. Right now I'm sitting fifth, so it's not bad. Uh, now I'm dropping. Wow. Nine tenths slower, huh? So far, I'm not sure if I'm gonna improve on this lap. Looks like I am going to improve on this lap. I'm in the green right now. All right, move up to ninth, so that's something. 
Oh, I slid it going in that corner. Oh, sideways. I'm gonna go one more lap around. See if I can really improve it again. Oh, so far, three tenths faster. So far, so good. S sitting in the top 10 right now. Sitting 10th. Oh. Orange cone. It was death with those orange cones in season one. All right, well, I'm gonna improve on this lap though. Alright, this is going to be my last lap, but then I'm going to come back around next time by and uh, practice my pit road entry 6 right now. Not bad. If I can make the second round, I can improve on that lap time, though. Tony Stewart on top of the board. He won at Sonoma, the, the first road course race. So I have a... One minute seven second point fifty eight. Turn car for God's sakes. All right, I'm gonna practice my pit road entry here, and also want to see. What's the speed limit? Oh man. Oh wow. Alright, I didn't see what the speed limit was. Alright, well, I make it to round two. This is the final round qualifying right here. Let's see what lap time I'm going to get. Ten race winless streak right now. It's kind of amazing. It's been since race eleven. And that was at Kansas Speedway. It's the longest winless streak uh, in my NASCAR 15 Let's Plays. That I've done in binding both seasons too. Although I went on an 11 race winless streak on the NASCO 5 Trek Series Let's Play, so it ain't the longest winless streak I've had. So let's see what I could do in round 2 qualifying. Gonna go down into turn 1. Nice corner there. Oh, Jeff Gordon, high. Oh, I messed up this area. Damn, I messed up that area. Oh, man, I am messing up right now. All right. Golly, way out here, Jeff, be nice. Ah, man, messed up this corner. Boy, I'm messing up this lap. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I just blew this lap. I'm not sure if I should let Jeff go and go. What's this lap time going to be? Not a good one. I only got this lap and it's over. Yeah, like this is the last lap. Went better through here though. Oh 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoops. Golly. I can't turn through here. Oh my gosh, I'm way out here. Guys, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a better lap time here. Uh, in the green, in the green, uh, I mean, uh, no. Eleventh? Come on! No way, five cars passed me on lap time. Alright, so I guess I qualify 11th for this race. <laughs> you know, I probably would have done better if Jeff Gordon was right behind me. Like, I was focused on him more than the racetrack, honestly, because I didn't want to cut down in front of him, or pull right in front of him, and then spin myself, you know what I mean? Whatever, I guess 11th place. So here we are, Watkins Glen International here, Watkins Glen, New York, for the running of the cheese at 355. Uh, second road course race of the season. And see what happens here. This should be interesting. Not. Uh, who knows, right? Look at that flyover. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool flyover. So Kurt Busch will start on the pole. Ryan Blaney starts second. Uh, Casey Kane starts third. And Brad Keselowski starts fourth. And, yep. 27 laps here. Starting 11th. There's the Cheese at 355 trophy if you win here at Watkins Glen. So here we go. The pace car is off. Kurt Busch and Ryan Blaney will lead us down to the Great Flag as I was starting 11th alongside Jeff Gordon, who won at Pocono in the previous race. As we're set to go for 27 laps here at the Glen. Road course racing, second road course race of the season. What happens here? Here we come. And. <laughs> Green flag is in the air and we're underway here at the Glen. Ryan Blaney will lead the first lap of the race. And I'm telling you what, I'm already all over the place on this first lap. I've already lost three spots. Like I said, Ryan, Bl Ryan Blaney leads the first lap. Made through lap one safely. What about lap two? Oh boy, got sideways off the corner there. Hopefully once this spreads out a bit, it should be easier. I braked a little too early there. Oh! Menard! Jesus! That was all- Oh, come on! I can't save that! You gotta be kidding me. I couldn't save this car. Just gonna park it back here. Because why not? Save that? Look at this. I was on the brakes hard right here. And look at that. Barely going even fast. While Clint Boyer involved. Bam! He hit that uh, tire barrier hard, too. That is unbelievable. Already, I mean, made it through one lap. Didn't make it through the second. The Nard turned to me. Well, to be fair, I did break a little early going in that corner. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to stay out here. I did break early going in that corner. 
and I think Menard didn't expect it. So Ryan Blaney is the leader with Kurt Busch, and I'm going to restart 37th. Alright. And we're going to have 24 laps to go on the restart. It's already going well for me in this race. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Whatever. Got 24 laps to recover, hopefully. So, here we go. Back to the restart. Very slowly, too. Green flag back in the air here at Watkins Glen. Now, I thought that move by Greg Biffle would have been bad, but he made it work. Kyle Lee car turn! Oh my fuck! Ah! That was all me! Just cussed the car in one turn! And I was locked on the Larson's bumper. I, like I couldn't get off his uh, bumper. God Lee, man, this is going terribly wrong. Look at this! I hit the curb there. Look, I'm locked onto his bumper. I can't get off of him. And then as soon as I got off of him, it's when Danica and Michael Annette was there. God, this race is going to go by quick just because of me wrecking every lap now. I'm going to stay out right now. Yeah, my car doesn't seem damaged too much. Whatever. So, Kurt Busch, Kurt Busch is going to be the race lead with Denny Hamlin. There, Ryan Blaney pit. I'm going to restart 33rd. And we're going to have 21 laps to go. No, 22 laps to go. My bad. Ah! Oh! First lap went great, you know? I'm telling you, this race is going to be great for me. How do I do so good at Sonoma? And then Watkins Glen, I'm terrible. Like, Watkins Glen should be easier than Sonoma, and yet I suck at it. Here we go. Green flag back in the air here at Watkins Glen. 22 laps to go. And what's with the stack up up here for no reason on the restart? No, not again. Not again with Larson. So I got out of there. Oh, I break the... Okay. Car slowed down. What the f... What? what? I can't explain what happened there. I was just on the brakes. I didn't even lock it. Look, I hit no one. It the car just went around. I guess I locked up the brakes too much. Jesus. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at the car. Uh, I think at this point, I'm just going to pit. I'm going to pit here. God. I didn't even... I hit no one. I hit no one, I didn't hit anything, the car just spun. I guess I locked up the brakes too much and then around it went. I can't explain that one. Ugh. This race is going well for me. Four tires, do that. No, actually, no. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, yes, repair the car. Back on the way after that. Four tires, full tank fuel, track bar adjustment, grill tape adjustment, fix the damage. Be back out there just to wreck some more. I can't... I really can't explain what happened there. I mean, I'm really confused. I guess I locked up the brakes too much. Not like I was trying to lock up the brakes. Okay, I thought the game froze there. It looked like it did. <sighs> Let's just go. So Kurt Busch is going to be the race lead with Denny Hamlin with him. I'm going to restart last because I caused that last caution. Oh, 20 laps to go. I mean, we made, what, I only did one lap. It, there was, there's only been one lap of green flag, and then all the others been cautioned. 
been running under green. So we completed one lap under green. That was the very first lap. So let's do this again. Here we go. Green flag back in the air here at Watkins Glen. 20 laps to go as Kurt Busch is the race leader. Made it here safely this time. No issues. Ah! Alright. Can we make another lap? Ah, okay. A little tight through here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Comes a couple cars down Piro, that's Michael Annette and Josh Wise. Oh. So can we make two laps around under green? Oh no! Shh! Boyer? Mmm. If the field spreads out a bit, it should be easier. We'll see. Really worry about. Okay. Ah, turn. Oh boy. Orange cones. I remember those orange cones in that area. Alright, I'm gonna make two laps around under green. Impressive. 18 laps to go. Oh, Junior! Oh god, oh no, oh no, oh, I'm sliding! Why, 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 why? Okay, we're good, we're fine, we're fine. No worries. Uh. Okay. I'm really trying to be careful around here right now. Oh, McDowell. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh, golly, turn! Oh, boy. Ah, oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Hi, Junior. How you doing? Damn it. So I'm up to 35 with 17 laps to go. Oh, what? Oh, not again. That time I saved it. Golly, this car. You cannot brake heavily. I guess not at this track you can't brake heavily. Because that happens here, I guess. Oh, okay. Wow, what happened here? I saw a couple more cars come down pit road. Up to 30th. 
Alright, I'm moving on up. Moving on up. Moving on up. Keep setting fast lap times each lap. Uh, Kurt Busch got the fast lap so far with a 1 minute 7 second point 95. Mine's a 1 minute 9 second point 48. But I'm not really going for lap times so though. I'm just really trying to get around this track carefully. Okay. Wow, well, a few other drivers come down pit road. See, they have not pit yet. Tony Stewart with the new fast slap. Oh, Tony Stewart, who won at Sonoma uh, in the first road course race. Oh, come on! How how hard, high off the ground does my car have to get hitting those curves? It's so dumb. Wow, there's some action going on up ahead. Who's in the grass up here? Someone was in the grass. This ain't the final lap yet, as I'm referencing uh, the 2012 finish with <laughs> Marcus Zambos and Brad Keselowski. That was a great finish. I remember watching that, how wild that was. So, got... 14 laps to go. We're at the halfway point now in this race. Ah, uh, okay. Do, 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 do. So, so far, so good now, except for the what? The first seven, eight laps? Been under green flag conditions for a few laps. As I'm behind, I'm in between uh, Ganassi drivers. Larson in front of me, McMurray behind me. I'm in the top 20 now. Um, oh no! Okay. Ah 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 ah! Jeez, every time I'm around Larson, think bad things happen. <laughs> Tell you what, Hamlin and a few drivers, at least the top five, are really pulling away. They got the advantage of not being in this heavy traffic, though. That's the problem. And I, when I mean by that's the problem, that's a problem for me. I'm just really being cautious going around this track right now. Try and maybe get the best result. Twelve laps to go. Oh. oh gosh, okay, I was tight there. Had to get out of the gas. I didn't want to hit Larson again. Ah, hit the guardrail. Not good. Okay, we're fine. 
We're good. Oh, Larson's gonna come in. Alright, I'm in the top 15. Sitting 14th right now. Pretty good. Alright. Kyle Busch has had the fastest lap so far. 107.75. Good. All right, 10 laps to go here at Watkins Glen International. Denny Hamlin leads, and I'm running 14th. Oh, slow down, car. Now, beside Johnson, oh my gosh. <laughs> So what, it made 10 laps under green flag? That's impressive. Well, when did I get, did I just, wow, I didn't know I got the fastest lap that previous lap, lap 17. One minute, seven second, point 43. All right, I'll take the fastest lap time. That lap did look good though. The way I ran it, but uh, didn't think I, wow. I'll take a fast lap time right now. So when is Denny Hamlin and the others going to pit? Can I make it on fuel? Is the question right now. That'd be awesome if I can make it on fuel. If I am, it's going to be definitely close. Oh, I, I meant to pass Johnson, but I didn't mean to pass Kane, but I'll do it anyway. It worked. Oh, gosh. 11th right now. Edwards is up there with top 10. I like where I'm at right now. Normally it's the right side tires that get warm, getting warm, but the left side tires are showing some warm first than the right sides. <sighs> Danny Hamlin heading down pit road. Brad Keselowski is going to be the race leader. And this is eight laps to go. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my gosh. Casey Kane. All right, I'm going to be in the top ten right here. Edward just down pit road. Harvick. There's Hamlin, who was the race leader. So I'm going to be in eighth. With eight laps to go. Oh, gee, wow, okay. Don't do that. Okay, no pressure from the back. What? Well, not right now. I keep cutting that corner a little early and hitting that grass. Whatever, it's not affecting me though, so what's the matter, right? It's not giving me a penalty either, so it shouldn't matter. 
All right, Brad Keselowski's heading down pit road. Tony Stewart stays out. All right, here comes Casey Kane in behind me. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Back on the track. <sighs> I'm going to try to stay out for the rest of the race, see if it'll work, see if I got enough fuel. If I'm not gonna, have, if I do get enough fuel to make it to the finish, it's definitely gonna be close on it. Just looking at that fuel gauge right now, I'm at two and a half, like between the two and the three on the, on the, yeah, on the, on the gauge. Six laps to go. Here comes Ryan Blaney down pit road. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be close on fuel whether I make it or not. If I don't make make if I don't make it on all the way on fuel it's gonna be within a lap or two. Well, I'm gonna try though, you know, I'm gonna take the gambles. You have to take gambles every once in a while, I guess, you know. I have nothing I honestly I have nothing to lose because I'm in the chase. I'm already locked in. Really have nothing to lose. Even Tony Stewart, you know, he has four wins. He has nothing to lose. Five laps to go for race leader Tony Stewart here at Watkins Glen. As I'm running in the sixth spot. Looks like I could be up to fourth, though, because a couple of cars are down the road. Jeff Gordon, Kyle Busch. So I'm in the top five. I'm going to try to go all the way on fuel. going to try. If it doesn't work, oh well. It's definitely going to be close on fuel. And I'm not sure if I want to save either. You know what I mean? I mean, I could save some fuel because Johnson's a second behind me. Problem is, is Johnson going to pit? That's just the thing I got to think about. Ah, all right, Tony Stewart's in, Kurt Busch stays out. Oh no, ow, four laps to go, this time by. Oh, top two came in. See, Johnson's not pitting, that's the thing I gotta think about, is he going to pit in these final three, uh, four laps? When is Kurt Busch going to pit? I might be okay on fuel. It's gonna be close. I tell you that much. I'm. Not, I mean, I'm not feeling comfortable right now, though, that I may run out of fuel. But I'm gonna try, though. I think I might be okay. Most likely, up like uh, if I don't make it on fuel, it's gonna be on the final lap. Is where I'm gonna run out. Of, it's when I'm gonna run out of fuel. It's going to be on the final lap. Kurt Busch is down pit road. I could have the race lead right here. Oh, wow, I got sideways there. Johnson pitting, no. Three laps to go here at Watkins Glen. And I'm going to lead this lap. I am the race leader with three laps to go.
Guess it was the right strategy for me to pit on that third caution. See, the thing I got to worry about is Jimmy Johnson. And is he going to pit? I might be okay on fuel. It's going to be close, but I may, I might be okay. We'll see. I didn't get the win at Sonoma Raceway. Finished second there. Can I get the win here? Johnson's catching me, though. I'm not sure if Johnson's going to pit. Ah, oh, Johnson, please. Get away from me. I'm hoping Johnson pits. Because it's another 3.4 seconds where McMurray is at. I messed up this corner. Should I let... I'm not going to let him go. Side by side, coming down the front straightaway. Two laps to go. Side by side for the race lead. Going into turn number one. Lock up the brakes there. Got the race lead off turn number one. Be the white flag next time by. This is going to be interesting between me and uh, Jimmy Johnson. Ooh, slid in in there. Made it out, okay. He is right there. McMurray and Boyer's back there as well, but they're about three seconds back. Now coming to the white flag here, Watkins Glen. And here we go. White flag is out. Final lap here. Watkins Glen International. Me and Jimmy Johnson are going to sell this right now. I think I'm going to have enough fuel. Can I hold off Johnson though? Oh, Slitty going into one. I'm okay though. I'm fine. Still got the race lead. Got no traffic to deal with either. This is for the win. See, Johnson's putting some pressure on me. All right, good through the bus stop. Through the chicane. All right. Here we come. Final two corners coming up. Don't make a mistake here. All right, good through here. Now let's get through the final corner. And here we go. Oh, Johnson's pitting! Off the final corner. It's been 11 races since I won. I win the Cheez-It 355 here at Watkins Glen International. Yes! I played the fuel strategy. I guess it was the right call for me to pit under that third caution. How about that? I mean, I was involved in the first three cautions and I come back and win. If there was a couple more laps, I would have not made it on fuel. It's been 11 races. But it's been 10 races since I won the... Oh. So I broke the 10 race winless streak. Well, I broke the winless streak at 10. God, I'm not doing good at these burnouts right now. Keep hitting the wall. I... Oh, wow. Jeez, these burnouts. I'm not doing well on these burnouts. It's been, kind of, it's been a while since I've done burnouts in this game. At least burnouts. I'm gonna do the burnouts over here since there's more room. Ah, God, Lee, man. Turn the car. Or stop hitting the wall. Here we go. Nice. I was sad. I was really concerned about this race. I really thought that I was gonna have, I was gonna be, and you know what? You know, ever since that first caution when I wrecked, 
I thought that was going to be my race. This is going to be my race where I'm going to wreck a lot, but I held on to it. I mean, I was involved in the first three cautions in the first eight laps, but yet went caution free since then and got the win. The final 20 laps were under green. I ended up winning it. And I restarted in last two, 43rd, and then still won the race. But Johnson was right there. I mean, I could have lost I could have lost this race. But he pitted, though, coming to the checker flag. So if he stayed out, I still would have been pressure on me to win the race. All right. So I win the cheese at 355 here at Watkins Glen International and got the fast lap of the race with a one minute. 7 seconds, point forty three, and only led 3 laps. And guess what? It was the most important laps. I led the final 3 laps of the race. So, so uh, I broke the 10 race winless streak. I broke the winless streak at 10. So, yeah. So, Jamie McMurray 2nd, Clint Boy 3rd, Jimmy Johnson 4th, David Reagan 5th, Brad Keselowski 6th, Denny Hamlin 7th, and Denny Hamlin, I think he led the most laps in this race with 11. Kyle Busch 8th, Tony Stewart 9th, and Jeff Gordon rounds at the top 10. Kurt Busch 11th, 12th is Greg Biffle, 13th David Gillen, 14th Paul Menard, 15th Ray Logano, 16th Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 17th Eric Almirola, 18th Kevin Harvick, 19th Casey Kane, and rounding up the top 20 is Ryan Newman. 21st is Trevor Bain, 22nd Ryan Blaney, 23rd Justin Allgaier, 24th is Austin Dillon, 25th is Danica Patrick, 26th Regan Smith, 27th Matt Kenseth, Mark Truex Jr., 28th, Michael Walter, 29th, and rounding up the top three is Chase Elliott. 31st is Carl Edwards, 32nd, A.J. Armendinger, 33rd, Cole Witt, 34th, Bobby Labonte, 35th, Brian Vickers, 36th, Jeb Burton, 37th is Kyle Larson, 38th, Dale and I Jr., 39th, Casey Mears, and J.J. Yaley rounds out the top 40. 41st is Michael Annette, 42nd, Michael McDowell, and finishing 43rd in last place is Josh Wise. Oh wow! I, I I can't. I honestly can't believe I won this race. I thought I was. I, I was concerned ever since the green flag drop. But I, I was really concerned. Really concerned ever since uh, the first caution because I thought that was just going to be a preview of my race, just causing every caution, uh, wrecking a lot. But I held on. I mean, held on the final twenty laps. You know, play and I played the fuel strategy. I mean, it was close on fuel too. So. Ryan Newman has the points lead by 19 points over Tony Stewart, still with no wins. I've moved up to third in points, but I am still 44 points behind. Uh, Case came fourth in points, 48 points back, and Danny Hamlin rounds up the top five in points. He is 64 points back. And rounding up the top 10 points is Kevin Harvick. He is 103 points back. And here's the rest of the point standings as they look right now. All right, so let's just continue. All right, so the next race is going to be at Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan for, for the running of the Pure Michigan 400. Got four races left before the chase. Two-mile track next. I will see you at Michigan.